It's Friday, Friday, finished Friday. Hey there, Soul Shines, it's Michelle here, and it's finished Friday, Frog It Friday. It's Friday. And I didn't think I was gonna have a video for you guys, mostly because I didn't feel like recording, but also because I didn't have a finished object, and I was like, oh, I could frog something. But then I was like, oh. But then I finished something. So we're gonna talk about that. And then I might frog something. It depends on the time. We'll talk about it. Anyway, if you're new here, my name is Michelle, and I would love it if you would hook that subscribe button and like it and comment. I love comments. I just think that's the best thing ever. So if you would comment, I would love it and appreciate it. And let's get started. So I'm going to start by showing you this pan. See this pan? Yeah, that the nonstick coating is so gone. I don't even know how many years we've had this pan. It's been a long time. And I was like, okay, my son's got a job, starting to pay off some bills, starting to get kind of caught up with most everything. <sighs> Can I buy pans? No. Wanted to buy pans. I'm like, no, cannot buy pans. But I was like, okay, but most of the pans, they're okay. They're, they're doable. This pan, not so much. So I went to the store today and I was like, okay, I can't buy a set of pans. I can buy a pan. So uh, this is the blue diamond. There you go. Blue diamond pan, um, similar size. And I thought, okay, we'll try it out. Um, it's a little bit more doable to buy a pan than all of the pans. But this is metal and um, it heats up. I don't know how much it heats up, so um, I may have to remake what I made. So what I made was a little thing that gets a little bit caught on the one little, it's got this edge right here on it. Once you get past there, it's fine. And I made, so I made a little tan, pan cover thing. Um, we're, we're going to kind of watch it and if it gets, uh, if it still get, is too hot with this, then I'll make another one and maybe use puff stitches or figure out a way to make double layers, um, something like that. So that, because I don't want us to get burnt on it, so I was like, oh, I, I can make something. I, I got skills. So I did that and just so you know, I have no clue what kind of yarn this is. It's 100% cotton. It's one of the cones, possibly from Walmart a, many, many moons ago, possibly from somewhere else. But it is just regu your regular kitchen cotton. It's what I have left on the cone. Um, so that's what I made it with. Pretty cool. Um, so they gave me a finished object today. Yay! Um, I have another finished object. I'm not going to show it today, but I'm going to record as soon as we're done here. I'm going to record another video and watch for it tomorrow because um, it is clue 10 of that for that big round blanket I've been making. Mystery Yarn Challenge Reveal 1 of 3 is going to happen tomorrow. I'm excited about it. It leaves me two more clues to finish that blanket. So the October clue is finished. Leaves in November and December, and if I'm not mistaken, November has four rounds, and I know December has two, so I'm like six rounds from finishing this blanket. Super excited about that. So let's talk frogging. Um, I have a couple of things I'm gonna frog, but one I need to find. Um, so I started a pair of socks for myself from Alpaca Yarn, and they're really pretty, and I really wanted them. But I kept messing up, and I kept messing up, and they've been in time out for a very long time. Um, I don't know. Maybe maybe they're ready to come out? Eh, I don't know. I think that, I think what I'm going to do is frog him and use the yarn to make myself a hat or... The problem is I don't know how much yarn it would take to do a hat and scarf combo. Um, 
like the hooded scarf things. I kind of want to do that, so I'm going to have to look around because it's a sock weight yarn. And I don't have a lot of it, so I'm going to have to look around and see if there's a pattern that can, like, give me an idea of how much. The other thought I have is make a hat and then see how much is left and if there's enough left to make a cowl or a scarf or make a scarf that I just add on to the bottom of the hat. Um, whatever, I don't know. I don't usually wear hats that much, but I do kind of want something. I don't know. So that's where I'm kind of going thinking with that. I think that it is time to just frog those, reclaim my sock needles, and get making socks again. Um, Cause yeah. So the other project I have is I had been doing a blanket and I was going to do squares. Um, if you've been following Things We're Making Thursday, you know that this is how far I got on the blanket. And I have issues because this is way wider than this, like significantly wider. If I line them up, we've got between a half inch and an inch depending on how it sits. That's like ridiculous. So I am going to undo them and I thought it would be kind of fun to do that on camera. So I'm going to pull out my needle and that makes all of the things live and then I'm just going to go like this and it just comes out and we call it rip frogging because it's rip it rip it and I just thought there's something a little bit satisfying about undoing knitting. I don't know why. My yarn's not even that spaghetti like. I mean sometimes yarn can go really looking like ramen when you undo knitting or crochet. Um, but yeah, I'm going to reclaim this yarn. I think what I'm going to do is I have, um, they're not the best tutorials in the world because they are my, like my first things that I did, but I will link up here and down below, um, tutorials to our, a tutorial to how to make a center pull yarn ball when you don't have all the machines and stuff. So I will be taking this and making a center pull yarn ball. Officially reclaimed that much yarn and then I will wanna keep this available and be very careful so that doesn't get too wind up. And I'm gonna do that. Um, and then I'm gonna undo this one as well. And the thing about this one is it's a little bit sad because I had done so much, but super easy to undo as well. And I'm going, what I'm going to do with it is uh, start a, maybe, I don't know. I may just decide not to worry about it, but start a um, corner to corner blanket of like this yarn and maybe the blue yarn, maybe another color that I have over there that is of similar weight. And I want to make a Boggy Creek blanket. I really do. And I would love to get a long way here in February. But um, corner to corner is one I know I can stick with and get pretty far with and I can you know, go across until I get the width that I need and then go to the length I need. So I'm not too concerned about that. So I will take this orange yarn, which is almost frogged all the way. And it's a little more ramen looking than the blue. It's been in longer. Um, a little bit longer, long enough apparently. Might be slightly different yarn as well. So unraveling fairly well and there it's all unraveled and then I will wind this up into a ball and then start my corner to corner and that guys is how you frog <laughs> that's how you frog knitting crochet is pretty much the same um, you just rip it back and when you frog a whole project it's finally reclaiming 
Oh, I had a thing. I forget. I had an acronym for it, but apparently it just didn't really stick in my head. I don't know. Facing reality on goals. <laughs> Facing my reality on goals. Facing reality on goals. That is what I came up with. Um, it could be facing the reality about a small thing or, oh my gosh, I dropped a stitch way back here. Some people can just do little minor repairs. Other people have to frog back that far. Depends on what it is, what the mistakes are, and your temperament. Because for me, I'm like, mm -mm, I can't. I am, It just bugs me too much. Unless I really can't figure it out. And then sometimes it's just realizing I am never going to make that project. I can do something else with the yarn. Or pass the project along or whatever. So, yeah. Anyway, um, I think that's it for today. Remember to let your light shine through your creations. Even if they're just handle cover things for so that you don't get burnt. Even if it's just that simple, or maybe it's super, super fancy. It doesn't matter. Remember to let your light shine, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!